Let's see. The next it's team, be right. um, similar to the Kings, actually, uh, they've been too. They've been really good the last two years, uh, especially throughout the regular season. Uh, when it came, what's up with Bi? What's up? Where Bi uh, from again? Right on time. Where Bi? Car- where Bi from again? Carolina. Carolina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Carolina. Okay. Yeah, right on, right okay. on time, right on time, with this pill talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why the talks was ass, uh, Hollywood. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, but the last two years, uh, this team, um, you know, ever since they land, they landed a top guy, uh, or one of the top guys in position. I um, mean, also a top twenty player in the league. Um, they've been to the playoff back to back years. Uh, might be three straight. They've been to the playoff back to back years since they got the guy. Um, one disappointing loss in the playoffs in that two-year span. Uh, one playoff series win. Um, and they did a lot of injuries last year. Uh, they went forty-eight and thirty-four last year. So I'm gonna go over under on this team, and I'm going to say this is the Cleveland Cavaliers. By the way, y'all, it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. Darius Garland, Donald like Mitchell, and company, Jared Allen. Um, Evan Mobley, Max Schroes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, when I was speaking to the injury, obviously Jerry Allen could not play last year a lot. D. Mitch also got banged up as well toward the end of that postseason run. Um, and, yeah, uh, to the Cavs, far the over-under, uh, I'm going to start it off with, I think this Cleveland team, I, I think they go over. I actually think they go over. I think they get 49 or 50 wins this year. Um, the East only had two teams win 50 or more games last year. I very much so think it's going to be three or more. Uh, the two teams were the Celtics and the Knicks. I think the Knicks, Bucks, or Cavs, or even the Philly, more more, more, more than likely Philly, actually. I think Philly, the Celtics, the Knicks are your three teams for sure that went 50 or more. And then you look at the Bucks or the Cavs, I think one of those teams cracked that mark as well. Um, I wouldn't say both yet. Five teams winning 50 or more games in the East. Nah, I'm not going to go that far. Um, although the East is pretty bad, you expect them to rack up a lot of wins. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go with them three, win 50, and then the Cavs or the Bucks being that 14 out of 50 games. Um, the Cleveland Cavaliers, you know, they lost to the Celtics in the second round, I believe. Um, after being the Magic in a seven game series, we did mention how to play heroic basketball in game six and seven. I think, particularly game six, probably had like 50 or something like that. That's off the top of my head. So don't 100% fact check me on that. Um, what's next for the Cleveland Cavaliers? You you fire J.B. Bickerstaff. You bring in Kenny Atkinson, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think Kenny is not a head coach in Cleveland. Um, last head coach that was in Brooklyn, I believe, with D'Angelo Russell and company. Um, you, you, no, he played with the Warriors, their assistant. He's been their assistant head coach. I said, I said, you ain't hear what I said. He's, he's, cool, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying he, he's been recently a head coach, I mean, an assistant coach. Like, he's been in that tree, though. We hear you, little bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, Twin, I know that, but I said head coach, though. Like, I said head coach. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, obviously, it was rumors about Darius Garland, Donald Mitchell, and the fit. Um, Will it continue? Uh, obviously, rumors. Man, as soon as they lost in the postseason, Sham dropped a whole freaking article of what that locker room was like and how basically JB had no control and all type of things were being dropped in that on that on that on that, on that thing. Um, what's next for them? Honestly, I really don't have nothing to say because for, as far as the Cavaliers, they didn't do anything this off season that that will make me look at them any different than what I did this past season, like. This, this team literally stayed who they are. Like they didn't, they didn't do anything. This is can you act the running back pretty much mind? damn near. You said, "Hey, what Kenny? You talking about Kenny, right?" Yeah, offensive of mind, yeah. head coach, could tweet, you know, make some things work. But that's you're a, forgetting, that's, that's their problem. Ev, you're forgetting. Mobley missed a big chunk. Garland had his draw injury, and he's never been the same. When he got that jaw injury, his his the second half of the season, he 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 wasn't the same player. He wasn't aggressive. It was Donovan Mitchell and Jared Allen, high pick and roll, and that was it. That was their team. They went on that big, what, 26 run post. Like, you feel me? That's when they 
I think nah, they but, just... but that's why I picked over for them. Like, like what I mean by like they're briefly bring back the same team. Obviously, I Kenny would be probably a better Kenny would probably be be the better head coach for like Byron just said offensive things um that versus JB. But they're still this is a good team to me. They're a good team where I'm not putting them over and who at the time at the moment who I believe are the four best team in the Eastern Conference. I don't think they can be any of those guys, right? And they already lost to the Knicks two years ago. So I'm not bashing who they are or how well they're going to play in the regular season. They're going to be a damn good regular season team. Um, but they didn't do anything to me. They didn't make no significant move to me where I'm going to be like, okay, yeah, Kenny is the new head coach now. Um, and I now think they can beat the Sixers in the series. I now think they can beat the Knicks in the series. I now think they can beat the Celtics. I don't even think they can beat the Heat. You know, I'm just being honest. Um, or, or, or even the Pacers and the Cavs would be a good series. You know, so I don't know, man. I, and imagine the Cavs would be a good series again this year, too, if they were to play again this, this year coming up, um, especially with KCP in the fold now. Um, and already went seven last year. So, I mean, what's next? I mean, it's, one sneak, One sneak for sure. I heard the sneak. I nah, that was no sneak, bro. The Heat and the Cavs would be good. You're not guaranteeing that the Cavs be in a series, bro. You're not doing it. Oh, guaranteed. My fault. Guaranteed. My fault. You're not picking. Are you? Are you? But, but nah, you're picking them. Yeah. I'll be going to that series? Yeah. I'll, the Cavs better. Okay. Be. Damn, better? Are we sure? Are we sure? Yeah, my, oh, I don't know if Jimmy's going to be healthy for that. Come on, bro. We don't come, come on, come on, yeah, come on, come on, yeah, come on. Like, I'm like, come on, bro. Like, like, like damn, gang. Like, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to strike a nerve. No, you good, but I'm saying, like, what? Can, like, what the fuck? Got a solid little run early. Who do I think the Cavs can definitely be in the Eastern Conference? Uh, I think they can. Far as play off of playing teams, um, Orlando. I think they'll beat the Cavs again. I think I, I personally think they'll beat the Pacers. Uh, oh, she asked if Miami. Oh, that's what she said. She oh, she's about the Heat. She's about the know. Heat. I didn't know. Oh, she's about the Cavs. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna stop at those two teams. I think, I think Pacers and Magic. Uh, but again, they're all in the same. They're they're right there with each other. You ask me, not they're not being the Knicks. They're not being the Bucks. They're not being the Celtics. And they're not being the Sixers. Nah, you don't think the I'm Cavs not. can beat the Bucks, Ev? You don't think the Bucks are also in that tier as well? No, I think the Bucks can beat the Cavs. I mean, Miami are we saying not, there's yeah. no world where the Cavs can't beat these teams, or we're just saying everyone's healthy, just going in normal, we're, like as is? Well, yeah, as is, everyone healthy. I'm basically saying that I'll pick those four teams to beat the Cavs in a series. Could it happen? I mean, potentially. Um, I wouldn't. I, I probably would the, the closest one probably me to be probably the Bucks. I don't think they're gonna be the Knicks, Sixers, or the Celtics though. Nah, not not for me. I'm not, I'm not picking. Man, that. every everything with this team going to the next step, bro. At the end of the day, is Evan Mobley development on? Oh, if Evan Mobley can't eventually take another, like, well, take I say take another. <laughs> if he can't take a leap in terms of self creation, then mm-hmm. this team just gonna stay where they at in terms of like ceiling. All, everything about they everything about they ceiling is resting on him and his development. Can Kenny come in and tweak some stuff and make that development get like you know process speed up a little more? I think that's what that front office is waiting to see. Can Kenny Atkinson aid yeah. to his development offensively? That that's what it all rests on during the day. Because we know we know what D Mitch gonna be in the uh, series. We know what D guard gonna be for the most part. He which is limited in the playoff series. He my little dog, but. He's gonna be limited to a certain degree compared to what he's doing in the regular season. So it's all about Evan Mobley. It's all about Mobley offensively. Uh, yeah, I, I tend to agree. Um, again, I, I can't really go say much as far as what's next for them because it, their roster is what it is. Um, still starting as two small guards in the backcourt. Still fronting guys to your front court, which is pretty damn good when it comes to the glass. He wasn't healthy, Twain. Watch that. Blocking. Glass rebounding and shot blocking. Um, and yeah, man, you uh, Caro extended it. Uh, Levert is this is his last season, and yeah, that's pretty much what y'all I got to say. Uh, I think they're still gonna be a damn good regular season team, but I don't think they're they 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 will be one of the top four teams at the moment, in my opinion in the Eastern Conference in the playoff series uh, for me. So that's all I got to say about it. Um, anybody else want to attack the Cavaliers? 
Yeah, I won't speak on it. You, we, we, they paid Isaiah Okoro. He developed into a 40% three-point shooter. We've seen what Allen did with all Mobley. We've seen the steps Donovan Mitchell's made. He made a legit case for all NBA. He, it wasn't really first team, but it was like a strong second team all NBA for, for season. You feel me? If Garland gets back to what he was doing last year, like the his first year with with, with uh, D. Mitch, my nigga Okoro, my nigga Okoro, your man, not Okoro, what's his name? Uh, Mobley. If Mobley adds something like like my, like. Byron said, "If he adds a midi, like he's been attempting more threes, like he just can't be a dunker spot type of guy. Like he has to be aggressive for them to get to where they're supposed to get to. Like this roster from top to bottom is not deep, but they was what top ten in defense, top ten in offense, fifty five wins without a, a one of their players. Like they're a great regular season team. It's just gonna be the playoffs. They won seven games against." a rookie Orlando Magic and it was down that series you feel me like we know what we know there are not going to be an elite playoff team like, like they're in a they're in a it's a weird it's a weird team cuz they're a very good regular season team that probably doesn't make it out the second round due to Boston, New York, Sixers got better like every team just got better even like I don't know like they I think they just got to they just got to develop Mobley. That that's what's gonna be. If you develop Mobley into a legit top twenty, top twenty five, thirty player, I think that's a good season for them. Cause they not gonna get out the conference finals. They not getting out the second round. So that's yeah, that's about it. Any appreciate you. Anybody else on the Cavaliers? I would assume no further comments if quiet. Let's go Cavs. Go Cavs. Um, go Cavs. Um, if Glock is kicking it. B Young is kicking it. Mazak is kicking it. Um, Derek Jordan Woods. Y'all kicking it, kicking it on the Cavs. Or y'all moving, what's up, moving forward on the Cavs. No comments. I'm good, bro. Good. Okay. Yeah, I think they're a good team. They'll be. They'll be solid. Okay. Short, sweet, and simple on the Cavs. 